Hello, I'm Radhakrishna Shanbar. I'm the newly elected chair of BMA SASC. I'm an associate specialist in trauma and orthopedics, working in Blackpool, and have been an NSAS doctor since 1997. I've represented your interests with the GMC, PMED B, and MMC. And as part of the various issues that we have been trying to deal with, we have asked BMA about the five most frequently asked problems that SAS doctors have been facing. It appears that regrading, pay, job planning, the new contract and back pay are the most important issues that are of concern to SAS doctors and I will try to address this in this short clip. The first issue which appears to be of concern to SAS doctors is about regrading to become an associate specialist. As you are all aware, the new contract has effectively closed the associate specialist grade. But there is a window of opportunity to apply for regrading up to the 31st of March 2009. So applications submitted until that date will, will have to be considered. Though the result of such a request may take a long time. What is important is that 4 million pounds have been set aside in the pay modeling during the development of the new contract for such regrading requests. And it is important that you acknowledge and you make the trust acknowledge that lack of funding cannot be a reason to refuse your regrading request. The next issue which is of major concern to our colleagues appears to be pay. What happens when you assimilate to the new contract? As you are aware, the new contract does not provide for optional and discretionary points. But those points that you do already have will be accommodated when you assimilate onto the new contract. That is the important issue. What happens this year if you were eligible to apply for points and you want that point to be accommodated into your new contract. The starting, the assimilation date for the new contract is supposed to be the 1st of April 2008. So any point that you get on the 1st of April will not be accommodated unless you ask for a starting date or an assimilation date of the 2nd of April. So I suggest that when you send in your replies to the letter of request uh, asking for assimilation to the new contract, ask for an assimilation date of the 2nd of April. That way, any point that you may be awarded this year can still be accommodated into your new pay. The next major issue that would be of concern to most of us would be job planning and SPA time. As we get more and more through the process of assimilating onto the new contract, the job planning process is an essential part of getting onto the new contract. And I would encourage all of you to begin this with maintenance of a job planning diary. Because what actually happens is, when whatever work we do, we are never adequately compensated for it because individuals do not know that they are actually doing it whilst on the job. And maintaining the diary, will be able, you will be able to demonstrate your involvement in direct clinical care, which all of us do, and the other activities which fall under the heading of supporting professional activities, that is SPA. So though you are entitled to a minimum of one SPA, we anticipate that as you progress up the ladder of responsibility in your job, you are likely to be more and more involved in SPA and you should be entitled to that time off. When I say off, I mean that time to be accommodated into your job plan and to be adequately compensated for. Wales have already set a good example. They have committed 10% of the total PAs for SPA time and some trusts have gone to the extent of giving 1.5 PAs but it is up to you to negotiate it by demonstrating through your job 
planning diary that you have been involved in such activities. The essays committee has come up with a handy chart to illustrate the assimilation process. Now what happens if you were to move employers during this phase of assimilation? It is up to your previous employer to make arrangements for payment of the back pay from the 1st of April 2008. This clip must have answered most of your questions, but I'm sure you have other questions to ask. All the information relating to the new contract is down on the BME website. I would encourage you to get onto that site and seek the information. And if you still find that there are other issues that you want addressed, do feel free to write. We would also welcome feedback on this video clip.